Yeah, look at the back of the camera. All right. Hey, man, YouTube, what's going on with you, man? We starting a whole new vlog. Whole new vlog, you feel me? So, welcome to the channel. If you new, it's your boy, Miss Court. If you ain't new, it's your boy, Miss Court, you feel me? But check me out, though. So, it's early in the morning. It's like 9.41. And I... About to go grab me something to eat real quick. Um, and I got a story time for y'all later on in the vlog, man. Y'all got to stay tuned for that one. Like, all of this happened, like, in my time yesterday. So, but, yeah, we got a whole vlog coming today, tomorrow, the next day, however long the vlog may be. So, I want y'all to go ahead and hit that like button like y'all always do. Spin that like button, no cap. Let's get this video to, like, 10 likes. 10 likes, 10 likes. I think we've been doing pretty good on the likes. And if you haven't watched my recent video, my solo video, make sure y'all go watch that ASAP, Rocky. Um, I will say I do got a little bone to pick with YouTube cause they trying to yellow mark my videos and ain't nothing really on it, but people, it's like going to the beach, like people in the swimsuit, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see this color right here? Same thing happened with Corey Kitchen cause I see hella YouTubers that be having certain things in their videos that's worse than what I had. I had, bro, it was at a pool party. You're going to see people in bikinis. I've seen worse on YouTube that than their videos have ads on them and whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. But, yeah, man, so I'm about to go grab something to eat. Why does this look like a police behind me in an unmarked vehicle? I don't know, but I'm about to grab something to eat, man, and I'm about to get my day started because I'm off today. And, um, yeah, man, I'ma see y'all then. No cap. Yeah, I got a bone to pick, man. Why everything so motherfucking high, man? Mm, why is everything so damn high? Everything high. It's high. High as hell. For what reason? I don't, look, I don't care what nobody say, bro. This damn age, bro, in the economy, how everything, everything from the crash and all of this stuff, it, it's just the economy in general. Uh, Bro, you gotta damn near be a millionaire or multi-millionaire to live comfortable. Like, bro, it's just crazy, bro. That's a key example of, for a lot of people, money buys happiness. But for me, money don't buy happiness. It's just good to have. You know why it's good to have? So you can go do stuff. You know why? You need to have to go do stuff. Because when you're happy, you feel like doing stuff. But you can't be happy and want to do stuff if you ain't got no money to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but nah, man. I just picked up my favorite chips, man. I ain't gonna lie. I used to, like, as a kid, Ruffles was like, I ain't gonna lie. That, that was a top tier chip. I just barely ate them. You know what I'm saying? But these right here, these flaming hot Ruffles and um, cranberry um, white peach. Bro, not cranberry, but cran white peach, the juice. Hit every time, bro. Hit every time. But I'm headed home. Oh, I know a lot of y'all kids going back to school now. So if you watch me, you going back to school sometime this month. I know where I'm at. The uh, kids go back to school tomorrow. So, hey, man, y'all have a great year, man. If you watching me, have a great year. If this your last year, make it your best year, man. Have fun. Um, your classes, all your hard classes should have already should have been done last year. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just make sure y'all have fun this year, man. Have fun, enjoy. Because I'm telling you, man, when when folks, when your grandma, your granddad, your uncle, auntie, older cousins, when they tell you, make it last. Because once you out of there, you out of there, man. Ain't no going back. Um, you you probably won't miss it when you first get out of there. But I'm telling you, it will, you will, it will be missed. Like, it'll definitely be missed. Um, cause I ain't gonna lie, I was ready to get out of high school, and like for the first two years, I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? We we chilling. Well, I ain't gonna even say first two years. Like the first year and a half, I'm like, man, we chilling, man. I ain't worried about the school. But now, sometimes I wish I'm like, damn, bro, like I I could have did a lot more while I was in school, tight. But man, all I'm gonna say is, yeah, you a junior senior, please enjoy these last two years of school. You have uh. Incoming freshman, man, hey, man, whether it's college or a high school, 
hey, make the best of them four years because they going to go by quick as hell. And I ain't even going to lie to you. They're going to go by so quick. So if you watch me, man, have a good year. Stay on your grind. Stay. Look, if you don't like school, it's okay. Just pay attention, bro. Get them grades out the way. Do what you got to do so you can graduate. So you ain't got to go back. Because if you get out if you get out of the way, you ain't got to go. You ain't got to worry about it no more. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, y'all stay out of trouble, man. Y'all make good decisions, man. Make smart decisions. Hang around people that you know wants to be in a safe environment um, and make and make it back home at night or during the day or whatever. Be around people that you know after y'all graduate. They want to be successful. They want to do some stuff. Start now. Because you start now, when you graduate, you'll be set. Don't wait till it's too late. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never too long. Never long? What the fuck? You ain't, you ain't never too young. You know what I'm saying? But it's hot out here. Um, I'm about to go in the house, play the game for a little bit longer, man. And um, and eat on these chips. And take me a little nap because I still haven't really got out of my rest from when I was getting back at the house for so long. And also stay tuned for this little story time I got to tell y'all, man. Y'all going, bro. Y'all stay tuned, though. No cap. I'll see y'all in a little bit. YouTube, man, what's going on? Like, right now, I am watching um, Twitch. Um, I ain't tell y'all, I just joined this uh, this little league, this little Call of Duty league thing. Um, tried out for a clan today. And, of course, I made, I mean, I made the team and all of that, you know what I'm saying? I was about to say, of course, I made it, but I don't like being cocky. Plus, I haven't played a game in, like, two months. So, I'm a little, little, little rusty, but, you know what I'm saying? Made the team. Um on a win streak right now, you know what I'm saying? We got, I think, one more game. We played two. We got one more game. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish off 3 0 tonight. But, yeah, that's what I've been doing today, man. I've been trying to get ready for this. Um, so, I'm just, we basically just scouting this little team. For for y'all who don't know me, I'm a, look, I'm a nerd, okay? I am a gamer nerd, bro. I'm also an athlete. Um, I'm also a content creator. Like, I'm a whole lot of things. I don't hold myself to one specific title. You know what I'm saying? You know why I don't? Because there is no limits to better yourself. Don't ever hold yourself to a certain limit. You know what I'm saying? Never. If you want to be good at everything, be good at everything for your jurisdiction. You know what I'm saying? Like for your happiness, for, you know, to, to say, hey, I'm good at this. It feels good to know that I'm good at this and I ain't got to depend on nobody else. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, so that's what we've been doing. And I also want to tell y'all a story, bro, about what happened yesterday. So basically, I'm going to tell y'all tomorrow. But all I'm going to say is basically my family and my friends and who and whatever, the whole world thought I was missing yesterday. And uh, yeah, that's the story for tomorrow, though. But I just want to check in with y'all, lock in with y'all. And uh, yeah, man, I'm about to finish this up, and I'll see y'all in the morning. Oh, YouTube, so it's 901 right now, right, bro? I gotta tell y'all two things, bro. Basically, basically two story times, but at the same time, it's not. But at the same time, it is. One of them is like a dream that I had last night, and the other one is like an actual story time about how my family thought I was missing. So, boom, this is story time. I go to work, uh, what, Monday? Yeah I, I, yeah, I go to work Monday, and I get off. So normally, let me put this in the air. Normally when I tell somebody, no, not when I tell somebody. Normally when I'm about to go somewhere, or I know if I'm not gonna be home for a minute, I tell somebody like either it's my mom, um, my brother, or any, just anybody in general, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy, stepdad, whatever, my dad, whatever. I tell them, look, y'all can't reach me. I'm here doing this, doing that. So this time, after I got off of work, boom, took one of my coworkers, one of my bros um, home, and then his brother comes outside, and then we all start talking about something. So my mom texts me, are you eating meat this week? Because I know sometimes I go on, you know, um, no meat cleanses, like, because I was, you know, healthy man. <laughs> so boom, did that, bro. I, um, so, I, um, I text her, I was like, I'm not gonna eat Monday, Tuesday, I'm not gonna eat meat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't, boom, said that. And then as soon as I'm, as soon as in my head, I'm, I'm gonna text like, hey, um, if I'm not home, when you get home, I'm gonna be so-and-so. Um, so, we started talking, so it just completely left my mind. Like, I was like, I'm 
you know what I'm saying, forgot about it. Cause I'm so I'm so used to telling people where I'm gonna be. Um so that's like two o'clock. Last time I texted like two, like two something. Um boom, I go home, I come home, take a shower, eat me a little something, brush my teeth, all of that, and I go. I don't people don't hear from me until about eleven that night. And I, I'll take my phone because somehow my phone, I, I think I accidentally put my phone on silent. Like, y'all know how sometimes you can try to turn your volume down and your ringer is already off. So you basically turn your volume already down and your ringer is down. So I think I put my phone on silent on accident. And then boom, I get ready to leave from where I'm at. And I got like 30 missed calls. I'm like, what, what, like, what's going on? I'm thinking somebody, I'm thinking something in the family didn't happen. Like, some, I think somebody has gotten. So something them, something bad that happened in the family, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, I don't think negative, but that's just 30 missed calls from different people, like my brother, my mom, my stepdad, my my brothers, like my, you know, my friends, uh just everybody, you know what I'm saying? They just texting me, calling me, like, what's going on? I'm like, dang, like, something that happened to somebody. And I ain't gonna lie, the first person I thought of was my dad, because I didn't get a call from my dad, you know what I'm saying? But that's because he didn't know. Um, like, as soon as he found out, I, I ended up calling my mom back, like, when I was leaving the place, so, um, yeah, so I did that, I answered, I think, who, I think I had, you know, calling or answering my stepdad call, and after I got the phone with him, they was like, he was like, bro, bro, your mom gonna kill you, man, so I ended up calling my mom, called her, and I called my homeboys back, I was talking everybody just was going crazy, like, in my head, like when it happened, cause like I said, I'm so used to telling people where I'm gonna be and they're so used to me telling, like even though I'm grown, I still tell people like, I don't tell them, I, I, I may not tell them exactly where I'm gonna be, but like I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be out for this long, yada, yada. Um, but not hearing from me for nine hours, yeah, that is kind of, like when I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I probably would've thought, like if my mom was gone for nine hours and I didn't hear nothing from her, I probably would've, Said the same thing. I'm talking about people was out looking for me. My cousin, they work at Walmart. He a manager there. He done put a search warrant out for me. I'm like, well, I think he was about to. Or I think he did. I was like, oh my goodness, bro. That's, boy, that is crazy, bro. But I looked at the positive out of it too. When you do good for people, when you give off good energy, when you, when you just be your unapologetically self, be positive all the time, and just be happy and joyful and Feels people's spirits up. They care for you. They don't play about you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I kind of felt bad, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, I mean, it ain't really nothing I can do about it. Like, it happened. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm safe. I always tell people, I'm going to make it back home. I don't care where I'm from. Where, I, don't care what, I don't care where I'm coming from, where I'm at, whatever. I'm going to make it home. Trust me. I don't put myself in situations to get me in, you know, bad, like, bad karma. And I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, if it's me against anybody trying to do something, I'm gonna come out because I'm very well protected. Not physically, y'all, but y'all know. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the story time, bro. And I had a dream last night, y'all. Um, I had a dream last night, bro. And it was like a burning hot, like my house was burning. It was like catching on fire, bro. And I'm like, what about that? Like, so it was this house, but it was like a little bigger in the back. Like, we have a big ass backyard, but our backyard was like, it was like no houses around. It was like just straight land. We had a pool, court, um, a jacuzzi under the like carport, like not carport, but the back porch. Like, it was like extended. It was everything. So we had planned on doing a party. Boom! Like a whole bunch of people was pulling up, a whole bunch of famous like content creators and all of that pulling up. No, but we ended up having to cancel it because it had started raining. So later on that night, somebody I guess who didn't know, I actually know this person. Um, I used, used to train with her. Um, she pulls up in a raggedy car. I don't, I don't know. Um, but then she ended up hitting the front of my garage. It was already rusted because somebody beforehand had hit it and it had took the paint off, so it had rusted. So, but then she kept her car there, so her car started smoking. As soon as the car started smoking, she backs up and then somehow. The fire, yeah, like a fire starts, so it starts spreading like little by little. So we call in the ambulance, um, the fire department, police department, we call everybody. They was like, it's gonna take 40 minutes for us to get there. Huh? House will be burned out by then. And then I said something 
so crazy in my dream because because this is probably something i would say for real you only doing it because we black i said something like that i'm like it's not gonna take you no 40 minutes to get here bro you know what i'm saying like especially i know where i'm at and i know where the fire department at and i know i stayed right down the road from the base from the air force base like come on bro i knew in my head like i got common sense in my dream and in reality kind of control my dream so i was like man they ain't gonna be here in time so i got like it, it was a shirt, but I'm I'm just use this right here. It was a shirt I had. So it started in the it started outside of the garage, and I opened the garage, and then it was like it was like little like lines. It wasn't even like big fight. It was like little lines, like little cracks. You know what I'm saying? Like little cracks and lines. And um, I just started. I used the water hose to spray it outside of the house, and then spray the inside of the, of the garage as far as it could reach. And then it was crazy because it didn't get to this door it didn't get to no kitchen it didn't get to any other rooms it didn't get nowhere but the living room blinds and curtains like our front entrance where we have like a picture on the wall and like um just like the walls in like the living room area but not like the kitchen or nothing like that well let me rephrase that it did get at these curtains right here we got a big mirror right here i, I believe it did get here but as far as like kitchen area it didn't get in here i don't know what that dream was about um Normally, I can decipher what's going on in the dream. I don't have to meditate on it, but something, it, it was a sign, you know what I'm saying? It's a message from something somewhere, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reflect on that after I get done talking to y'all. But those were two things I want to tell y'all, bro. I told y'all I'm going to start telling y'all more things about what's going on in my life. Um, so, yeah, man. Also, listen, especially if you in high school, middle school, and you think, you, and you think you're grown, you're not. You're never too grown. Let somebody know where you at. Text somebody, share your location with somebody that you trust. You ain't got to share it with your parents, but share it with somebody you, you know that you trust. Because, man, when I tell you, man, my mom was going crazy. My mom was ready to, man, my mom was ready to burn the whole war down. She was out by 11 o'clock at night, riding around, looking for me, ready. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm low-key glad she didn't tell my dad first because he would have came out here. If y'all ain't see one of my my um shorts, go look at my shorts when I had prank my dad saying somebody was uh coming down here trying to do something to me. That joke came with. I, I ain't gonna tell you, but go go look at that short, no cap. But yeah, man, I wanna tell y'all that. <laughs> I'm about to eat me some pineapple, some fruit, man. And yeah, man, I'll see y'all in this clip, no cap. What's going on, YouTube? So it's the next day currently. Um, I'm about to finish cleaning out my car for real. So it's like, dang, why this thing won't? There we go. My camera's still over. Hold on. I think it's just the light. But yeah, so um, I'm about to finish cleaning out my car and probably head to the mall. Um, probably grab me some cookies. I, but I've been craving some cookies. I ain't gonna care. I've been craving some cookies big time for some reason. So I'm gonna probably do that, and then I'm uh um grab me some right real food and then go back to the house and chill probably to let her on do something i'm just really adding something to the vlog you know what i'm saying so we can end it bit soon and then we got to get 20 minutes plus on our vlog you feel me but yeah if you made it this far to the video if you have not i repeat if you have not made it but if you have not watched my last video my last vlog go do that right now you got to do that right now bro you got to don't miss out on that vlog show love let's get that vlog to 20 likes it's at 10 right now i think go get that vlog to 20 likes i'm telling you people gonna start sleeping on the family on the game man we we on the verge of doing something big man like we we about to we about to kill the game so that's what we gonna do man but y'all make sure y'all go get that vlog real talk y'all go watch that vlog get y'all popcorn ready it's gonna be funny it's gonna be fun gonna be interesting and all of that good stuff you feel what i'm saying but i'm about to finish up here then i'm gonna catch y'all when i get to the mall and then so far so on what's going on y'all so i ended up not even going to the mall i'm about to head and just going to give me something to eat because i'm more hungry than anything so i don't feel like waiting for no cookies having to drive all the way down there when where i want something to eat from is like right there close to where i stay so but yeah man i'm finna head there uh, I ain't really got too much to say on the vlog no more. Besides, I just cleaned my car and I enjoyed this vlog low key, even though it took me a few days to get to get over. Cause I ain't gonna count, man. That my my recent vlog that I did, 
with the pool party and stuff like that, bro. Four days in a row, I was like out, bro. Like, I wasn't getting back home till like four o'clock in the morning, bro. Four o'clock in the morning is crazy. I wasn't getting home till like four o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock, four o'clock. I, I ain't gonna say four o'clock, like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. I wasn't going to bed till like almost four. So I'm I'm still trying to I was still trying to recover from that man. So, but we we about to get back on track, cause from now on I'm not going to no events, no parties unless I know for a fact, like you know what I'm saying it's content related. Like I'm going to do some content. You feel me? So that's what we that's what we doing, man. So yeah, man. Uh, if you enjoyed the vlog, go ahead and leave a like on that video. If you're new to the vlog. Like I always say, man, go, in, go ahead and hit that subscribe man. Turn on that bell to be notified of these videos because we only finna get lit, 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 lit. So, we are gonna do that, man. Love y'all, as always. Y'all continue to stay positive. Y'all continue to grind. Go whatever you want ain't gonna come to you. If you don't, go get it. Continue to affirm, manifest, all of that good stuff, man. And last but not least, join the MK family, man. Join the MKYT game, man. We on the road to 5K. Let's go in and get it ASAP. Rocky. Um, I mean ASAP, no Rocky, my bad. And yeah, man. We got this thing.